Imam Hussein is the symbol of peace and justice. He called for the implementation of Islamic freedom and respect for human rights. He is the grandson of the last messenger of God, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Lady Fatima Te Zahra, the only daughter of the Prophet Muhammad, also known as the mistress of the ladies of the world, is the mother of both Imam Hassan and Hussein. She is famous for her great knowledge, piety, and struggle towards justice. She is one of the best models to be followed, both by men and women. Imam Hussein's father is Imam Ali, the voice of human justice and the door of the city of knowledge. He is the first infallible and sinless Imam who is the right successor of Prophet Muhammad and his vicegerent appointed by Almighty God. He is also the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad. Imam Hussein's brother is Imam Hassan, the Imam of Wisdom and Tranquility, and he is a second infallible Imam. He was murdered by the Umayyad dictators with poison. After his death, Imam Hussein became the Imam of the nation. During his leadership, he would strive hard in order to preserve and propagate and teach and guide people towards the true message of Islam, and he would cater for everyone's needs, whether they were Muslims or non-Muslims, whether they were his friends or his enemies, and no, this was the Imam. At the time of Imam Hussein, the Umayyad rulers were committing every type of injustice and oppression that can be imagined. They killed tens of thousands of innocent people, murdering and torturing women and children. They put thousands of freedom lovers in jail and demolished the homes of whoever stood against their injustice and tyranny, causing suffering and leaving families homeless. The Umayyads were a tribe from Arabia which had unjust and oppressive and immoral people whose sole purpose was to gain power and rule over the people. Claiming to be Muslims, these tyrant and oppressive dictators spread mischief in the society in the name of Islam. They distorted the image and meaning of this great religion, the religion of peace and justice. They spent the straight treasury of the Muslims to pay for the expenses of the ruler's relatives, hold celebrations, gamble, and pay soldiers to kill the innocents, while the common people were left dying of hunger and homelessness. In these alarming conditions, no one was able to make a change and save the people, except for Imam Hussein. The Umayyads were the first dynasty to take over, or if you prefer, hijack, the religion of Islam. They committed all sorts of atrocities and murders in the name of that peaceful religion. In the year 60 of the Islamic calendar, Muawiyah, the ruler of Syria, died and his son Yazid came into power to start a new dictatorship. He was a frank abuser of human rights, wealth, and chastity of the society. He was a pleasure-seeking person, giving in to drinking, gambling, and wild parties, without caring to the problems of the society. It is also widely reported that he liked to spend time with young boys. He did not care for anything but his own pleasure, joy, and happiness. He used the public treasury to satisfy his desires. All was done in the name of Islam, and he called himself a representative of God. The descendants of Umayyad are Abu Sufyan and Muawiyah and Yazid and all those dictators known in history. If this situation would have continued without a revolution, the religion of peace, justice, and freedom would have been extinguished. That is why Imam Hussein, the symbol of justice, refused to pledge allegiance to Yazid and told his governor, We are the household of the prophethood. 
the source of messengership, the descending place of the angels. Through us, God had began showering his favors, and with us, he has perfected his favors. Whereas Yazid is a sinful person, a drunkard, the killer of innocent people, and one who openly indulges in sinful acts. A person like me can never pledge allegiance to a person like him. He had to show that the real Islam is not the Islam that was being preached by the Umayyads, and that the real religion of Islam is a peaceful religion. Yazid tried to assassinate Imam Hussein in the holy city of Medina. When Imam Hussein left to Mecca, Yazid sent hunters to assassinate him there. This alarming situation forced Imam Hussein to travel with his family and companions to Kufa, a city in Iraq whose people promised to aid and support his movement. When Yazid discovered that Imam Hussein was traveling to Kufa, he sent an army of 30,000 men to Karbala in Iraq to encircle Imam Hussein's camp and deprive him, his family and companions from drinking water to kill them by thirst. The Battle of Karbala occurred because the Imam wanted to reform the Muslims and he wanted to show them that the Umayyad had absolutely nothing to do with Islam at all. Since the Umayyads had distorted Islam and the Muslims were deviating from the true teachings of the Prophet, the Imam wanted to revive you know, the true teachings of Islam and he wanted to bring back authentic Islam so that the people may be on the right path. On the day of Ashura, the 10th of the month of Muharram, Imam Hussein, 17 members of his family and 72 companions fought bravely against the army of Yazid. They preferred martyrdom over surrendering to the order of a tyrant ruler. The unjust killers did not pity or spare anyone. Imam Hussein's six-month-old infant, children, and even some of the women were brutally murdered. Then the bodies were beheaded and paraded around the streets of Damascus. We learned everything from this tragedy. We learned how to live, we learned how to be alive. History is repeating itself. Today, there are dictators oppressing many countries of the world who are following the example of Yazid by killing innocent people and freedom lovers. They are the main source of trouble, mischief, and corruption in the society. The same people who killed Imam Hussein, the symbol of justice on this earth, are killing all the freedom lovers and those who demand peace and justice in the world. Millions of freedom lovers, people who stand for peace and justice were inspired by Imam Hussein. Mahatma Gandhi said, I learned from Hussein how to be oppressed yet victorious. So we learned that we should always be in support of the truth, even if it means losing everything because there is no loss greater than the truth. Every year, millions of Muslims visit the holy shrine of Imam Hussein in Karbala, Iraq and remember his noble and great sacrifice and his eternal stand for humanity against tyranny and oppression. We mourn and grieve when we remember Imam Hussein every year because we want to remind ourselves of the values he stood for. And shouldn't a hero be always remembered? Imam Hussein said, I did not revolt aimlessly or for pleasure, or to be unjust or corrupt, but I took stand in order to seek reform of my grandfather's nation. I want to enjoin the good and denounce the evil, and take the course of my father and grandfather. Imam Hussein, the eternal symbol of justice, freedom, and human rights.